My name is Edward Nehamkin, Senior Associate Product Manager for Network Edge, and in this video, I'm going to demo how to create and launch a virtual device. To get started, hover over the Network Edge tab and select the Create Virtual Device button. From here, choose the type of virtual device you're looking to deploy. You can deploy a single virtual device without high availability with various vendor packages and licenses, or a virtual device with a secondary high availability device. The main advantage with this option is that it enables you to increase the redundancy for your existing devices and its services. Once you've decided on the type of device you're looking to create, click Begin and select a vendor package for your device from the list of supported vendors. To learn more about a specific vendor, click the See Description button. After choosing a preferred vendor, select the metro where you'd like to deploy this new virtual device as well as your preferred billing account. Next, you will need to choose a device configuration option. You can either provision and configure your own services on a self-configured device or configure connectivity for your device via the ECX Fabric portal using the Equinix configured option. Next, select a licensing option. You can either bring your own license or purchase one through Equinix, which comes with end-to-end -end support. Once you have done so, select the appropriate device resources, software package, version, license, throughput, and fill in the remaining device details, such as your device name, number of interfaces, users who you would like to receive device notifications, and any other optional details such as your purchase order number, order identifier, or portal deal ID. Term length. From here, click Next and fill out the additional services section by adding users, IP address subnets, additional bandwidth, and confirming your term length selection. Once you're done, click Next to review your order details. On this page, you'll be able to review all of your configuration details and accept the Equinix terms and conditions. Keep in mind that order terms must be accepted in order for the device to be created and provisioned. After submitting an order, you'll receive an email with the order details as well as another email once device provisioning is complete. Once provisioned, you'll have the ability to add and edit additional services including VPN, SSH users, additional bandwidth, and more from the virtual device section in the inventory tab. This concludes the demo on creating and launching a virtual device on Network Edge. For additional resources and information, visit the Network Edge product documentation site.